This is Everyone Can Grill. Today we're going to work on a Weber Spirit. I got some drumsticks, some bacon, some dry rub, some barbecue sauce. We're going to have a little bit of fun today. So you guys stick around because this is going to be good. All right, let's get this show on the road. We've got four drumsticks here. All right, now there's just the two of us because everything is going on. So we're going to take these and we're going to have some fun with them. Well, let me wipe off my hands. And what I want to do is I want to take some of this KC barbecue. Let's get this in the picture here instead of the back. I'm just using Weber's KC barbecue rub tonight. And I'm going to sprinkle it right on these drummies. Just like that. Nothing fancy. Nothing ever is fancy. I mean, it might look fancy, but it's easy to do. I try to make these recipes nice and simple so everybody can follow along and, and have some fun. Because that's what this is all about. Is how much fun you're having. Grilling doesn't have to be a chore. Now, usually... I'll do this on the uh, charcoal grill, but I haven't used my smoke or my gas grill for a while, and I wanted to fire it up. So now, what I'm going to do is grab a little bit of bacon. These are thick cut bacon, Sugardale's thick cut bacon. You've seen me use it before a few times. And this is all I'm going to do. So I'm going to give the top part just a wrap like that. Let me show you one more time. I'll just put my finger on it and give it a stretch while I'm doing it. And that's it. My grill as is at 400 degrees just about. Now I want to take it and give it a quick cleaning because I made some cheeseburgers on it a little while ago and I want to make sure that we get all that out of there before we throw these on. Well, there we go. That is good. Now I'm going to just take these and we're going to lay them out here. So right down the center, like I said, I'm keeping the edges in the middle like that. I'm going to put three down the center and then I know these are cooler sides over here and over here so that's where I'm going to set those for right now and I'm going to close up the grill. We're going to leave it on high just for a little while. Get that seared just a bit and start cooking and then I'm going to turn the temperature down so that we don't burn it. So I will bring you back in about five to ten minutes and show you how it looks before I do the first flip. Okay, it's been five minutes and I wanted to flip these. Now use tongs, okay. Now, you might be tempted to just flip them with your bare hands, but man that would burn the snot out of you. Look at how nice that looks already. See there? That bacon is crisping up just a little bit on there. This is beautiful. This is all I'm going to do right now is I'm going to give it a quick flip. Just like that. And now that that's hot. I want to give it a quick sprinkle of my rub. My rub. Weber's rub. All right. Let me get the lid back down on these. And I will bring you back in about five more minutes. We're going to turn them a quarter turn. So stick around, because I'm telling you, this is going to rock. Okay, it's been five minutes since the last time I saw you. I want to give these another flip. This time, I'm going to do a quarter turn this way, or try to. Right, let's get that bacon tucked under there, right under or over the flavor bars, just like that. This chicken's coming along nice. I 
I'm holding right about 350. But these are nice plump legs. And I'm going to have to watch now because there's a lot of fat in this bacon. I'm going to have to play around with the flare-ups. But that's not a problem. There we go. That bacon's giving us some nice flavor. Let's get this lid closed. Knock down that fire a little bit. We'll let it go for another maybe five minutes or so. And I'll bring it back. All right. It's been about three or four minutes. But I got to roll these things over. I'm getting a little bit of flare up off this first one in the flavor bar. See? Charred bacon. Well, we don't need that. So I'm going to flip these all the way over and move them around a little bit. Ah, uh, I guess I was wrong about that bacon sticking to it. But we'll keep it near it. At least we'll get flavor on them. There you go. That one worked. Nice. Beautiful. Ah, uh, that, see, a little bit charcoal. But we're okay. Should have left it alone. It was stuck on there good. Like I said, I want to put just a smidge of sauce on these. If I can open it. And then, you know what I'm going to do? The whole plan was to get these off of the direct fire now. So I'm going to put these all on one side. enough room to breathe. And I'm going to kill that. I'm going to turn this side on full blast and this side off. Now let's do a little bit of sauce. I'm using KC Masterpiece. This is one of my favorite store-bought uh, barbecue rubs. And anymore, it's real hard to find because the store we get it from got their own brand out, which isn't bad, don't get me wrong, but it's not the same. So I'll just do a quick brush on these, make it to where get a little flavor going right off the rib. I did take these temperatures a minute ago. And I was rated about 105 degrees. Ah, oh, must be the vegetable police. <laughs> All right, close it back up. Now we're going to let it go for a solid maybe 10 minutes. So stick around. I'll bring it back when I get ready to roll them and sauce the other side. Okay, like I said, it was going to be 10 minutes, and the wife made sure it was 10 minutes. So let's check these out. Oh yeah, buddy. I had to turn this side on low because as you can see the flag is sticking straight out. So I want to give these a little flip here. I want to get barbecue sauce on this side too. These are looking really good. It is chilly out today. I, nah, I lost that whole piece of bacon there. That's going to... One's for the dog. And I'm only kidding. I'm not going to give chicken and bacon to the dog. Lost it on a couple of those. I guess that uh, toothpick would have been a good idea, huh? It's just with everything going on right now. Couldn't get any. Just like toilet paper. All right. Barbecue sauce. On my fingers. There we go. I'm going to sauce these down. And I'll show you where we are temperature here. And we'll figure out just about how much longer we're going to have. Man, that barbecue sauce is good stuff. I'm using a Weber thermometer. Malta, you can use this for just about anything. Look at, we're at 152, 157. 
Look at that climbing. Beautiful. 165. I like. Close it back off. Let's give it five more minutes right now. Let that barbecue sauce set in. That'll bring that temperature right around. Dang it, that's good. Right around 170, 175 is where I like to pull it. Nobody wants juju. So let's give it five more. All right, it's been five more minutes. I did take the temperature while we were going, just to make sure we were at temperature. And I am. I'm right at 173, 174 on everything. The bacon was a flop. Let's put it that way. I mean, you can see the bacon was a flop. So, yeah, we need the toothpicks. Just couldn't get them. Some of them that stayed on, some of them it didn't. But dang it, man. That looks so good, doesn't it? Look at that. And we're just going to have uh, potatoes inside. I want to get these off because we got a storm moving in. And I don't want to get hammered. It's literally starting to snow while we're here. So I got those off. I'm going to kill the grill. Get these in here real quick. Check this out. I'm going to use one where the bacon's falling off because I want a bite of that bacon. Look at that. See, bacon did not work. It's so good. Let me take a quick bite of this chicken. Mmm. Oh my God. Chicken on the Weber Spirit. Doesn't get any easier than this. So try it out. Have fun. My name's Mark. This is Everyone Can Grill. Get off your butts. Fire up your grills and see what you can do. It's not hard. Man, is it good. I'll see you next time.